Hi, my name is Oliver Stockton. I'm the Managing Director of Computer and Printable Label Systems. In this short video, I just wanted to explain to you the difference between the different UL marks that you'll find on labels. There are two categories. There is uh, what's referred to as the legacy mark, which is actually uh, due to be replaced by the enhanced mark. There, that's the um, UL mark that goes on to finished product labels. And then there is the recognized component mark. Um, that lay, that uh, UL mark goes on to the labels that you'll find on components. So generally speaking, um, the, the end purchaser of a product will only usually see the legacy or enhanced mark. They don't usually see the recognized component mark because it is a component part of the, of the product. Now, um, the difference between a finished product label and a uh, recognized component label is that the finished product label, um, UL's criteria is that it only needs to uh, last the lifetime of the product to be durable. Um, there's no set criteria as to what the label has to resist. However, it's very important to note that if that label comes off or you can't read the UL mark anymore, technically, that product is no longer UL certificated. A recognized component uh, label is a label that uh, carries some form of instruction, warning, hazard information, rating information, that sort of thing. Um, and because it's considered important to the product, UL considers it to be a component of the product. Therefore, it uh, has to meet certain criteria for durability and it will carry the recognized component mark. Now, there is a gray area between the two because if you have a composite label where you have the finished product mark and there are instructions rele relevant to the use of the product, then that um, could uh, actually need to be um, a UL969 approved label. And so therefore the engineering and construction of the label does need to be approved. Um, but it's a very gray area and it's something that uh, unfortunately we can't look into for you. You have to speak directly to your UL engineer to get clarification of whether that um, label is actually a component of the product as well as the finished product label. So. We've worked very closely with UL uh, over the past 18 months to get a thorough understanding. Um, please don't try and figure it out for yourself. Just call us, email us, or fill in one of the forms on our, on our website with an inquiry. Um, and we'll be happy to work with you, point you in the right direction of who you need to speak to to get clarification. Um, but most importantly, uh, we have a range of 45 um, UL approved products that would be appropriate for you to use. So we look forward to hearing from you.